a time to pause, the healer is here. Plus a word about Passover. Chuck D. Pierce, Corinth TX. Dear pausing ones. The Lord is rearranging our time and space, and we need to submit in this rearrangement. I am calling it a pause, dot and we need to submit to it. This will help all of us to develop new mindsets, new ways of operation, and new thinking processes. Yesterday, I was asked by a reporter if the coronavirus was signaling the end of world. The Lord does not want us to have a defeatist or fear mentality. Rather, He wants us to triumph. In this year of the voice, we must be capable of discerning whether the voices we are hearing are from the Lord's direction or to create fear. For instance, I listened to the U.S. Surgeon General on the news this morning. I liked him and the way he was communicating. Do I think that the enemy can use this for great opportunity to change his times and law? Yes. But remember, the Lord has a strong people in the earth realm. You are one of those people. I pray and decree that during this Passover season we will fully pass over. God has put a pause in place until he sees who is willing to cross over with him through his blood at Passover. The healer is here. There are times when God stops us from moving and causes us to pause. Why? Because we need a healer. As I recently shared during our Breakthrough Revelation service, the current issue is not about a plague or the coronavirus. Rather, it's about God pausing us because we need a healer and getting things in his order. The enemy will work until we pause to allow the healer to work. I encourage you to hear this message, the healer will reveal what you need and how to walk in this pause so the glory comes behind this mess and covers it. When judgment comes, standing in faith when the world is in chaos. Robert Heidler is one of the best teachers anywhere. His teaching from Habakkuk chapters 2 to 3 provided incredible perspective on what is happening in the world today. In fact, we will make sure both of Sunday's services remain online for an extended time so everyone has an opportunity to watch and re-watch these key messages, watch replays here. Times of distress are opportunities for miracles. Walk in faith, choose to praise God, and cry out for mercy. People are longing to hear good news. This is our time to pray that people turn and find the healer in the midst of chaos. Here are several things I am suggesting for all of us in this time of allowing the Lord to reset our time and boundaries. Find a Shabbat in your life. The Lord requires a Shabbat from us to break the cycle of life that we have been in. By Friday night, rest in some way so that you are restored. Many times while ministering in Las Vegas, I have shared that the Lord will require a Shabbat. With the closing of casinos in that city, this is now happening. God requires a Shabbat if we are going to walk in health and healing. No one understands this better than me who has violated Shabbat at certain times. Give an offering. The Lord honors and remembers when you give a portion of yourself to Him. We always want to give to someone more legitimate than ourselves. Take communion. We always want to remember the power of Yeshua's broken body and shed blood. Fast one day this week. Hear the Lord on how and when to fast this week. On Wednesday, March 18, 2020, I will record a video to explain how I see changes coming in worship, so please watch for that. For more info go to glory-of-zion.org. On Wednesday, our apostolic pastoral staff will be available to take calls and pray for those who struggle with fear, when fear is trying to overtake their thought process. Let's continue to submit to this pause from the Lord and listen for His voice amongst all the sounds that fill our atmosphere. Take time to watch both services, mentioned above, and mediate on His Word. This is our time to declare, the healer is here, asterisk please don't miss our emerging and newly found prophets. Subscribe here. Chuck D. Pierce and Team Glory of Zion International Ministries email, chuck at glory-of-zion.org website, www.glory-of-zion.org. Charles D. Chuck Pierce serves as President of Global Spheres, Inc. GSI, in Corinth, Texas. This is an apostolic, prophetic ministry that is being used to gather and mobilize the worshiping triumphant reserve throughout the world. Chuck also serves as president of Glory of Zion International Ministries, a ministry that aligns Jew and Gentile. He is known for his accurate prophetic gifting which helps direct nations, cities, churches, and individuals in understanding the times and seasons in which we live. Chuck and his wife, Pam, have six children and seven grandchildren. He has authored over 20 books, including the bestsellers Interpreting the Times, Redeeming the Time, and Time to Defeat the Devil. Find us on.